This Bible is the King James Version and also includes our Founding Father documents. Yes, the Constitution, which I'm fighting for every single day very hard. Donald Trump is now selling Bibles in another desperate move to raise money and pretend that he's religious, which we know he isn't. And that's fine. But he has to pretend to be religious because of the people that support the guy. This it almost seems like a parody, but it is all too real. Donald Trump posting yesterday to Truth Social, quote, Happy Holy Week. Let's make America pray again. As we lead into Good Friday and Easter, I encourage you to get a copy of the God Bless the USA Bible. Here is Donald Trump struggling to read the teleprompter, offering Bibles for sale. It's a very special Bible. And as you know, Trump is deeply spiritual and the spirituality just is exuding out of his pores here. Take a look at this. Be partnering with my very good friend Lee Greenwood, who doesn't love his song God Bless the USA in connection with promoting the God Bless the USA Bible. Right. This Bible is the King James Version and also includes our founding father documents. Yes, the Constitution, which I'm fighting for every single day very hard. Wow to keep Americans protected. Also, the Bill of Rights, the Declaration of Independence and the pledge. And of course, uh, casual viewers will recognize a lot of strange things in the video. Donald Trump rocking back and forth and side to side, looking confused, struggling to read the video done in many cuts so that Trump can record one line at a time if necessary. His eyes almost completely swollen shut. Every aspect of this is crazy, especially the fact that Trump is now selling Bibles of allegiance are all part of this. God bless the USA Bible. And it's just very important and very important to me. Yeah, I want to have a lot of people have it. You have to have it for your heart, for your soul. Yep. Many of you have never read them and don't know the liberties and rights you have as Americans and how you are being threatened to lose those rights. It's happening all the time. It's a very sad thing that's going on in our country, but we're going to get it turned around. Religion and Christianity are the biggest things missing from this country. Is that right? I truly believe that we need to bring them back and we have to bring them back fast. I think it's one of the biggest problems we have. That's why our country is going haywire. We've lost religion <laughs> in our country. All Americans need a Bible in their home, and I have many. It's my favorite book. All Americans, even non Christian Americans, need Bibles in their homes. It's a lot of people's favorite book. This Bible is a reminder that the biggest thing we have to bring back America and to make America great again is our religion. Religion is so important. It's mm. so missing, but it's going to come back and it's going to come back strong, just like our country is going to come back strong. Right. In the end, we do not answer to bureaucrats in Washington. We answer to God in heaven. Christians are under siege. We must protect content that is pro God. We love God. And we have to protect Love them. anything that is pro God. We must offend God in the public square and not allow. I'm actually enjoying seeing how many things can a guy who knows nothing about the Bible or religion say. And I guess it's a lot. <laughs> how the media or the left wing groups to silence, censor, or discriminate against us. We have to bring Christianity back into our lives and back into what will be again a great nation. Right. Our founding fathers did a tremendous thing when they built America on Judeo-Christian values. Now that foundation is under attack, perhaps as never before. What can we do? Stand up, speak out and pray that God will bless America again. I'm so waiting for the actual sales pitch now. I'm proud to endorse and encourage you to get this Bible. We must make America pray again. Right. Pray, get educated, get motivated and stand with me and the legions of Americans asking God to bless our great nation, to bring our great nation back and to make America great again. I'm proud to partner with Lee in this offering. He's a very special man, both as a talent, but maybe even more so as a human being. He's very, very right. special. And I think you all should get a copy of God Bless the USA Bible now and help spread our Christian values with others. There you have it. Let's make America pray again. God bless you and God bless the USA. 
I wonder how these things go behind the scenes where someone comes to Trump and says, sir, we need you to do three minutes about the Lee Greenwood Bible that we're selling. What? I'm selling a Bible. Yes, we're selling a Bible for sixty dollars. Don't worry. You get to keep most of the money. All right. Put it on the teleprompter. Let's do it. By the way, for anyone who even remotely is considering the fact that Trump maybe actually likes the Bible, here is the guy who claims his Bible's his favorite book, struggling to answer just a simple question about a Bible passage. You will notice, by the way, even though Trump, this is from, from when he was first running for president in 2015, 2016, despite refusing to say anything about the Bible because he doesn't know anything about it. He does seem way more articulate. And that decline that we've been talking with medical experts about very noticeable. Take a listen to this. Okay. You mentioned the Bible. You've been talking about how it's your favorite book. And you said, I think last night in Iowa, some people are surprised that you say that. I'm wondering what one or two of your most favorite Bible uh, verses are. Well, and why. I, I wouldn't want to get into it because to me, that's very personal. You know, when I talk about the Bible, it's very personal. So I don't want to get into there's verses. No, there's I don't no want to get into it. There's no, no verse that means I, a I lot just, to you that you think about or cite. The, the Bible means a lot to me, but I don't want to get into specifics. Even to cite a verse that no, you like. No, I don't want to do that. You're I mean, an Old okay. Testament guy or a New Testament guy? Uh, probably equal. I think it's just an incredible, the whole Bible is an incredible. I joke. Uh, very much so. They always hold up the art of the deal. I say my second favorite book of all time. Right. But uh, I just think the Bible is just something very special. So okay. Trump's speech, of course, dramatically declined, as medical experts have found relative to this interview in 2015, 2016. But there is a, a super religious guy we are led to believe equal between the New and Old Testament and wouldn't want to get into it because it's all just so personal. So in any case, if you believe any of this nonsense, if you are moved by Trump's supposed deep spirituality, uh, you now have a Bible. You can, you can even monetize the Bible for Trump. You can simultaneously get your sacred text and put money in Trump's pocket if that's interesting to you. And of course, all reeking, reeking, reeking of desperation. Many in the audience know my first language is Spanish. I learned English later when I moved to the United States. And these days I do a fair amount of traveling and I always make an effort to learn some of the new language before I get to the country. I've tried a bunch of methods for this. I keep coming back to the app Babbel because with Babbel, you really can start speaking a new language in just three weeks instead of paying hundreds of dollars for classes or fooling yourself with language apps that are basically just simple games. Babbel is designed by real people for real conversations. All of Babbel's tools are approachable. They are rooted in real life situations. They're delivered with conversation based teaching. You might have seen on my Instagram. I was recently in France. Babbel got me ready last minute. I got to France. I was ready to order food, ask for directions, talk to people at stores and hotels without having to use my phone to translate. There are studies from Yale. Michigan State University and others that continue to prove that Babel is better. One study found that using Babel for 15 hours is like a semester of that language at college. With over 10 million subscriptions sold, Babel is real language learning for real conversations. My audience gets 55% off. 55 at babbel.com slash Pacman. Rules and restrictions may apply. The link is down below.